Hi everyone, in this video we will look at a step-by-step -step demonstration of a star pathfinding algorithm on this grid map. So the robot start at this node D1 and we are looking for a path from D1 all the way to the node B4. And uh, these blue blocks are the obstacles in the map. Similar to the Dextra algorithm, each node is in one of the three states. It can be either open or closed or new. New means it's not explored yet, and all nodes are in the new state at the beginning by default, so we do not write it here. And each node has the G cost, H cost, and F cost. For example, for this node B2, its key cost is measured in the distance traveled from the starting node to the current node B2. The G cost for node B2 is 24. And uh, this is the same as Dijkstra's algorithm. And uh, the A star also uses this H cost. H cost is measuring the distance needed to travel from the current node B2 to the target node B4. So H cost for B2 is 20. It is two step, so it's 20. And uh, finally, A star uses F cost to decide which node will be explored. And uh, to get F cost, we will simply add the G cost and the H cost together. So for B2, the F cost is 24 plus 20, so it is 44. Now let's start with the algorithm. We first put the starting node into open list and update its cost values. So put it into open. And its G cost is 0. Since it, is, since it is identical to the starting node, and its H cost is the distance from this node to the target node, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 steps, so it will be 50. So the F cost is 0 plus 50 equal to 50. So in iteration 1, we first change the only explored node here into the close list and explore its neighbors. They are C1, C2, and D2. For C1, we put it into open list, and uh, its parent will be D1, this node. And uh, its G cost is 0 plus 10, so it will be 10. And uh, its H cost is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 steps, so it's 40. So the F cost is 10 plus 40 equal to 50. And for C2, we put it into open list, and uh, its parent will be D1 as well. Its G cost is zero, is 0 plus 14, so it will be 14, and the H cost will be 1, 2, 3, 3 steps, so it's 30, so the F cost is 44. And for node D2, we put it into open list, and uh, its parent will be D1 as well. And the G cost is 0 plus 10, so it's 10. And the H cost is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 steps, so it's 40. So the F cost is 50. So this is the end of iteration 1. Now in iteration 2, we first look for the nodes in the open list with the minimum F cost. So it is the node C2 here with F cost of 44. So C2 will be our interested node in this iteration. Now we put C2 into closed list and uh, explore its neighbors B1, B2, and uh, D3. For B1, we put it into open list and uh, its parent will be C1. And uh, its G cost is the G cost of C1 plus the H cost, so it's 10 plus 10, which is equal to 20. And the H cost is 1, 2, 3, 3 steps, so it's 30, and the F cost will be 50. And for node B2, we put it into open list, and uh, update its parent. The parent can be node C1 or C2, and uh, we will use C2 here.
and the SK cost is 14 plus 10, which is equal to 24, and the H cost is 1, 2, so 2 step means 20, and the, the F cost is 44, and for node D3, we put it into open list, and uh, its parent will be D2, and uh, the J cost is 10 plus 10, equal to 20, each cost will be 1, 2, 3, 3 steps, so it's 30. And uh, the F cost will be 50. So this is the end of iteration 2. Now in iteration 3, we first look for the nodes in the open list with minimum F cost. So the minimum F cost here is 44 again in node B2. So the interested node here, it will be B2. So we put B2 into, op into close list and update its neighbors. For node A1, we put it into open list. And uh, the best parent is B1. And the uh, SG cost is 20 plus 10 equal to 30. And the uh, H cost is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 steps, so 40. So the F cost is 70 for node B A1. For node A2, we put it into open list. And uh, its parent can be B1 or B2. And uh, I will use B2 here. And uh, its G cost is 24 plus 10, which is 34. And the H cost is 1, 2, 3. So it's 30. So the F cost is 64. And for node A3, we put it into open list. And uh, its parent, uh, the best parent is B2 node. So the G cost is 24 plus 14 equal to 38. And the H cost is 1, 2, so it's 20. So the F cost is 58. So this is the end of iteration 3. Now in iteration 4, we first look for the nodes in the open list with minimum F cost. So we have 50, 50, 70, 64, 58, and uh, 50, 50. So the minimum one is 50 here in these nodes. They are the B1, C1, and uh, D2, and uh, D3. These four nodes. So let's do them one by one. For node B1, we move it, move it into closed list and update its neighbors. And in your code, everything will run again. But here we can see all the nodes, all the values are already in the best possible state. So we do not make, make change here. And similar for the node C1. We put it into closed list, but uh, all the neighbors does not need to, to, uh, to do any change. And the same thing for the B, for D2. And uh, for node D3, we can update its neighbors C4 and the D4. Yeah, move into closed list. And uh, for the neighbor node C4, we move it into open list and uh, its neighbor will be D3. And the SG cost is 20 plus 14, so it's 34. And the H cost is one step, so, well, so 10. So the F cost is 44. And uh, for node D4, we put it into open list. And uh, its parent will be D3 as well. And uh, for the G cost is 20 plus 10, so 30. And the H cost is 1, 2, 2 step means 20. So the F cost is 50. So this is the end of iteration 4. Now in iteration 5, we first look for the nodes in the open list with the minimum F cost. So we have 70, 64, 58, 44, and 50. So the smallest one is 44 here in node C4. So we explore this C4. And its neighbors. So we first put it into closed list and update its neighbors. The first neighbor is B4. So we put it into open list first and update 
is parent to be C4, and uh, its key cost is 34 plus 10, so 44, and the uh, H cost will be 0, because this is just the target node, and the F cost will be 44 plus 0, 44, and uh, at this point, because the target node is already being explored, and uh, we can find a valid path, so we can stop here. But of course, in your code, you can keep exploring other nodes. So now we can extract the path by using the information of this parent node. So the parent node of B4 is C4. So the path from B4 will be C4. And uh, the parent of C4 is D3. And uh, the parent of D3 is D2. And the parent of D2 is D1. So now we've found a valid path from D1 to B4. To draw it on the map, it uh, looks like this. And uh, here we can see uh, by using A star, it found the same path as the dextrose in the previous video in the same map. But because we are also considering the H cost and the F cost when we when we do the exploration, so the algorithm converge faster. So we do not have to explore every single node in the map. We can focus only on the nodes that's closer to the target node.